Hello, I'm a PC, and welcome to the 2009 Worldwide Developers Conference. I wanted to be the first to wish all of you a great conference filled with incredible innovations that will keep Apple at the forefront of the... You know what, I, I think I can do that better. Let me, let me try that again, please, I'm sorry. Take two. Hello, I'm a PC. Welcome to the 2009 Worldwide Developers Conference. I want to be the first to wish you all a week with some innovation, but not too much, please. Uh, yeah, I like that. Take three. Okay, hear me out. You've already sold over a billion iPhone apps. Don't you think that's enough? I mean, iPod Touch is a runaway success. Maybe you could just slow it down and uh, maybe you could float a few ideas my way, right? Uh, I could use some snazzy apps, some uh, things. Why? I hope you're thinking of some great ideas because I'm thinking of great ideas. What are your ideas? Uh, so you'd prefer this? Clap. I don't even know what to do anymore. Canceled. Get out. No. Take 60. Hello, I'm a Mac, and what PC's trying to say is have a great conference. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome to the 2009 Worldwide Developers Conference. We have an amazing week planned for you. It's incredible for all of you, and I mean all of you. There's over 5,200 developers from 54 countries around the world. It's incredible. I mean, can't you feel the love in this room? I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, intense. This is the best best level of excitement and anticipation for our developer conference yet. And there's so many good reasons for that. I'd like to show you just one. This is incredible. This is a chart of OS X users in the first five full years of Mac OS X from 2002 to 2007. Great steady growth, adoption, Mac OS X. This is in shipments, this is actual active users, up to 25 million. But something incredible has happened over the last two years. To show you that, I need to change the scale of the graph a bit. <laughs> Keynote, magic move. <laughs> and this is what's happened with iPhone and iPod Touch. We've tripled, tripled the number of active users of OS X across these products. We've tripled install base of customers to run all your amazing applications. It's just astounding. No wonder everyone's trying to race behind us and follow in our footsteps. No wonder there's so much excitement around what's happening. So in this keynote, we'd like to tell you about some of the things we're doing on the Mac and the iPhone and iPod Touch to continue this amazing market growth, to continue to create products that our customers just love to use, to continue to give you technologies so that you can build the world's coolest applications with them. To help me do that, today I'll be asking Bertrand Serlet, our Senior Vice President of OS X Software, to join me. And also Scott Forstall, our Senior Vice President of iPhone Software. Now I get to begin with a section on the Mac. And I'm really happy to do that because the Mac products are the best they've ever been at Apple. We make incredible products, and increasingly, the majority of our customers, when they buy a new Mac, they choose one of our notebooks. We make these amazing new notebooks. And we're in love with the way they've come out lately with this new design we've come up with. It actually started a, a year and a half ago with the MacBook Air, where we created a technology we call the Precision Aluminum Unibody Enclosure. Unibody for short. And it lets us create a notebook that's sturdier, made of amazingly beautiful materials, packed with features, and best of all, insanely thin and light. We like this design so much that we took it across other products, the 13-inch MacBook, the 15-inch MacBook Pro, the 17-inch MacBook Pro just earlier this year, and all have done extremely well and customers couldn't be happier with them. 
And even though we have a huge lead over anyone else in the notebook business making incredible, gorgeous designs, we don't want to stop. We want to continue to extend that lead. So I'm really happy to show you first today a brand new version of the 15-inch MacBook Pro. Now, it's built on this unibody architecture that allows us to pack more things into a thin design than anyone else does. So built in is a revolutionary lithium polymer battery. We started this early the year, in the year with a 17-inch MacBook Pro. This battery gives an amazing up to seven hours of battery life. That's two hours longer than before, 40% greater battery life. And we do it in a more environmentally friendly way. The majority of notebook batteries in the market today get about 300 full recharge cycles before they start to have diminished ability to retain a charge. These new lithium polymer batteries of ours are over three times longer, over a thousand recharge cycles. Yeah. So that means a typical notebook user will get about five years of life before they see diminished charge in that notebook battery. That's incredible because that's longer than a typical notebook life. So most customers may never need to change the battery in their notebook because it will last that long. And when they do, we have a great recycling program in our stores if they want to take advantage of it. Unlike our competitors who in that same time, often the customers will go through three batteries, not dispose of them properly, and it's just not good in the environment. So you get this incredible battery life, this long life battery, all in a design that's just as thin, just as light. And that's amazing to deliver. When you open it up, the new 15 inch MacBook Pro has a gorgeous display. In fact, it's the nicest display we've ever put in a notebook. It has 60% greater color gamut, which means more vivid colors on the display. It's still insanely thin. And as you go around the I.O. side, you see there's all the I.O. on the left-hand side. If you zoom in, you see something different this time. In place of the express card slot, which was used by less than a single digit percentage of our customers, there's a new SD card slot. But why an SD card slot? Well, most all our MacBook Pro customers have digital cameras today. Incredible digital cameras like this Canon DSLR. And of course you can plug it in with a USB cable, but customers really like the convenience of popping out the SD and they've all standardized on SD now because of the speed and capacity they hold. And now you have the convenience of just popping it right in to the MacBook Pro and importing your photos right into iPhoto and Aperture and Photoshop, wherever you are. So you have a built-in SD card slot, but there's a lot more to this new 15-inch MacBook Pro. It is the fastest notebook we've ever made. You can configure it with up to a 3.06 gigahertz Intel dual-core processor with six megs of L2 cache. And that's the fastest processor we've ever put in a notebook. You can also expand it with more memory, up to eight gigabytes of 1066 DDR3. You can get up to 500 gigabytes half a terabyte inside this notebook, up to 7,200 RPM, or if the way you like to go is SSD, you can get up to 256 gigs on that. So this is an incredible new 15-inch MacBook Pro. It has all these features and capabilities, and it starts at an even lower price of just six